Businesses, charities and entertainment organizations will now have to register with the VAT department if they're hosting public entertainment events that generates revenue either from ticket sales or other related activities. These include sporting and cultural events, concerts, dinner parties and balls. According to the latest statement released by the VAT department, the application has to be approved at least 48 hours before they begin to advertise these events. CEO of the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employees Confederation Edison Summer admitted it's going to be a heavy task, but he's hoping government will have leniency. These groups now need to find the voice and speak up and say that this is not fair on us. We're trying to raise money to help um, other charitable uh, events in the country, organizations. There are some charitable events that may be back ex exempt. But the, the communities that are affected by this need to now stand up and say, wait a minute, um, this is not working for us. Can you please give this some further thought? Nonprofit organizations, religious organizations and charities will be affected. A bond is also required to secure the anticipated VAT liability. Sumner, who was speaking at Rotary Southeast Club's weekly meeting at the East Villa restaurant on Wednesday, says there has to be an outcry from those who are affected in order for government to reconsider its position. He believes there needs to be an adjustment made to that policy. We are going to have some discussions with the VAT unit on that and, to, and with the government to see if there's a way that they will consider relaxing those requirements and perhaps consider putting them in place for some of the larger companies who are doing this because we've got some large entertainment pro uh, promoters who are making, you know, the five-figure um, returns, six-figure returns. It may be more applicable for them, but at the moment it, it applies across the board. 